Well, hello there, lovely people. It is now May, and all my seedlings are they're getting there. I had to plant a few more next door, but now I'm quite pleased with how they're all turning out. So in here, I've got some purple kale. It's getting a bit leggy. I need to do something about that, and they need to be repotted. I've got some tomatoes. These are, what are you? I've got some chard there. And I have some mint, which I cut off and it started rooting and then it's kind of growing. In here, this is the apple mint. It's doing okay. It's taking a while, but it's getting there. And have more tomatoes. It's basil, which is actually doing okay. It's called lemon verbena. Verbena. But it smells really nice. Also at the garden centre I got some little mini sweet corns, which I, which I can't wait till they start growing. And um, that's my rhubarb, and here is a courgette, which is going to be a yellow courgette, which is probably quite cool. There's my cat mint, more kale, marigold and rudibeckia, which isn't doing too well. I've got one little tiny seedling, but yeah, and these are all my carrots. Up here I have dahlias. And in here I've got my squash, which is getting a bit leggy, and my courgette there. And there I have more tomatoes, and there are my sunflowers. Yeah, that's the story so far. And the next door I have... Doo -doo 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 -doo. So my pumpkins didn't do too well and my peas didn't grow. So I planted these a few days ago and they're already springing up. So these are I think, two varieties of pumpkin and in here I've got some more beetroot and in here I grew a mushroom. Wow. So it turns out I've grown an accidental mushroom. I can't believe how warm it is today. If my thermometer is correct, I think it's about 35 degrees in the polytunnel, which is great. I need to get my tomatoes in, but I really need to tidy up in here, overgrown again. So I'm gonna hopefully have a quick tidy up and maybe get the tomatoes in, I hope. can't believe how hot it is in here, which is great. Everything outside is just something gone poof, which is good for all the vegetables, but I'm going to have a lot of weeding to do. The flowers look nice, but yeah, everything's just exploded upwards. This is coming out today been flowering for a few weeks so the bees have enjoyed it. There's something else that's been flowering. I think my leeks are gonna flower which I'm kind of intrigued to see if I've left these in too long. So, I could put five tomatoes either side. I 
feel a bit nervous, I'm not sure why, like I think I'm going to come back tomorrow and slugs will have decimated them. I have put beer traps down and I've put eggshells around. We'll see what happens. Yeah, they do look a bit bedraggled after being transplanted, but hopefully they'll perk up tomorrow. Sort out the rest of the garden. So, the next day. I think they fared all right, really. Can't see any slug damage yet. So, either the slugs weren't here, or the eggshells and the beer traps worked. Nothing too much in the beer traps, but... Although something has been nibbling my sunflowers. Yeah, these guys are free range now. Mm -hmm. I thought I'd give you an update of my garden after my day of planting things. It's still not complete yet, because there's still things I need to put in. But I'll give you an update. My potatoes. I'm starting to think now, maybe I should have put these in a bigger pot. Maybe I will get like a few bags of compost and like transplant them two into one but we'll see. I'll show you Bill's potatoes up there they look great. Yeah everything's netted because of the chickens and also because of the slugs but in here is going to be my pumpkin patch. I've got four pumpkins in here and I've got some green beans which I'm going to and I'll put the beans there once I've harvested the leeks. That's my spinach which is up there because of the chickens. In here in here I have some purple cabbages, which I'm quite excited for them to grow. I think that's been going to die because of slug damage, that's just a pumpkin. So I hope they grow. In here I've got my courgettes and slug damage, which I don't know if I'd like cover those individually just until they get more established because that one's just been destroyed. That's a pumpkin, but I don't know how well it's going to grow with that slug damage there. But that one's doing okay. Over here are the onions. So they've taken, so hopefully. And then over there I'll put some carrots. In here I have some beetroot under there, which has been destroyed by slugs. So I think I might have to give those better protection. These are just plants from my parents' house. I'm not sure what I'm putting there. Maybe, so I may also put the kale up between the two. I have my peas, which I hope all grow in here. And a sweet potato, which I'm quite excited about. Which I will plant over there, I think. And in here is my little strawberry bed. So, here are my tomatoes, which, touch wood, are doing all right. A bit of slug damage but I kind of hope it'll, it'll be okay so I've got five on either side and there's a few sunflowers dotted in between those two in the black plant pots are the peppers I thought I'd give those a go again and that's a melon cucumber and aubergine so we'll see how these get on and here I've got some purple pak choy a little bit slug damage, but hopefully a few of those will grow. So yeah. Bit messy. And I'll show you what my friend Bill's been getting up to in his allotment. So, as you can probably tell, Bill likes growing potatoes. He said he grew these from in the supermarket when they sell a bag off reduced. He will go and buy it chip them off and then it's the result. So that's awesome. <laughs>